Hi everyone, I'm Philip Jin, and welcome to a look at the painting process behind Jack Skellington getting a piggyback ride from Santa Claus, or Sandy Claus. My main medium is pen and ink, or in this case, brush and ink. So it's funny that my first full-length process video is about painting, but I did capture this quick snippet of me inking Santa's face and beard. For most of the pieces I watercolor, I do like to lay down the ink first since the ink drawing is generally the crux of my illustration work, and as such, I usually like to work with limited palettes and selective color. This piece though is going to be way more full of color. Originally I was just going to paint Santa's outfit red and call it a day, but I decided to make this a full piece, which of course will be much more interesting and nicer to look at. So I took this as an opportunity to improvise and experiment with a couple different painting mediums. I'm starting out with the watercolors. First I lay down plain water in the areas I want to apply washes of color so that the paint doesn't get applied too thick. And I'll get a nice dissipation, a bleeding effect with the wash, which in turn gives me a nice texture for the sky. This also helps me to build layers of color to get the gradation I want from top to bottom. Where you see me blotting out watercolor with a napkin, paper towel, toilet paper, what have you, it's to help me get a softer edge or to lift out watercolor from areas I don't want it or to lighten an area. Here I'm using FW acrylic inks, which I haven't used a lot yet. Um, they're pretty saturated straight out of the bottle, so I've diluted the ink heavily with water to create an ink wash. Ink wash dries a lot faster than watercolor, which I like because I can work quickly, but unlike watercolor, they're more difficult to blot out when they start to dry. And when the brush runs out of ink wash, applying new ink wash to the unpainted areas doesn't necessarily have a smooth blend, so working quickly is necessary. I also found it's helpful to work from the areas I want to be dark towards the areas I want to be light. Here I am almost done with Santa's suit, and instead of the vibrant color I was hoping to layer on to kind of bring out that cartoony look, the results ended up being more matted, which seems rather fitting for Santa's fabric. It was pretty serendipitous. Here we get into some improvisation. I love drawing trees, so I wasn't too worried about drawing them off the cuff without any pencil underdrawing. I'm using the FW acrylic inks in an ink wash again so that the drawing goes quickly, and I'm diluting the wash even more for the background trees to achieve atmospheric perspective. And even though the trees are going to have foliage, I'm still drawing the trunks and branches because the wash is translucent and I don't want to be able to see everything through the foliage. I'm using a flat brush here to get the foliage, which is a different technique for me because I usually scribble and draw the foliage onto the trees with a pen nib which I can't do here because I'm painting. I knew it would work, and as the bristles dried out ever so slightly, I also got a little bit of a dry brush effect in some areas, which is great for trees. I wanted Christmas lights, but I wanted them to look diffused as if by fog. I used an FW acrylic yellow, which was the brightest yellow I have, and red and green watercolor. All of them applied and then diluted on the page with water so that the paint bled and washed out. Finally, I broke out the Pentel Presto Jumbo Correction Pen, Whiteout. I could have used white ink on a toothbrush and strategically sprayed on the snow, but I wanted a lighter snowfall as opposed to tight grippings of white specks, which is what you generally get when you spray ink on with a toothbrush. This way I had control over how dense the snowfall would be, and also the design of the snowfall overall.
Here's the finished piece, cleaned up a little bit in Photoshop. I try not to doctor things too much, removing only certain artifacts and adjusting the levels to retain as natural a look as possible while still being ready for digital and print. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I also have plans for more videos, so be sure to check back. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can find me on the interwebs at any of the links below. See you next time, and Merry Christmas.